Hi, I'm Maurice Skidmore, Director of Sales here at American Panel Corporation. Our video presentation today will help acquaint you with the general operating procedures of our line of blast chillers and shock freezers. While we manufacture 56 different models in our product line, a very unique thing is that all of them use the exact same control panel. You learn one, you've learned them all. From our little three pan unit doing 30 pounds of product to our very biggest of units doing 1400 pounds of product in a single cycle chilling product from 160 to 38 in 90 minutes. So I'd like to demonstrate the panel to you. It's very easy and very intuitive because it's not only menu driven telling you in words what to do, but also a series of flashing lights that will direct the operator through the cycle of getting the unit started. So very simply, when there's power to the unit, it's going to display in there and say off. So our logical thing to do would be on our on off button to turn the unit on. And when it's on now, it's asking us to choose a cycle for an operating mode. And we have these three lights flashing and we can choose either soft chilling, hard chilling, or shock freezing, depending on the function that we want to do with our product today. And in a future video, we'll go into more depth as to how each of these various cycles are applicable to individual uh, operation. So once we've turned it on and it's asking us to choose an operating mode, we can choose from one of these three by pressing the button. For example, if we wanted to hard chill product, soup, sauces, stocks, proteins, things of that nature, we would select hard chill. And at that point, the display says, I'm in the hard cycle that I should choose an operating mode, auto or manual. And these two lights now are flashing. And we have the ability to do an automatic cycle with the food probe that is standard on all of the units. Or in a manual mode, if we're using the uh, uh, unit in a more uh, a la carte fashion. So I'm going to choose automatic mode by pressing the automatic button. And now it tells me ready to start and I merely press the start button and the machine starts and we're in a blast chilling cycle. At this point, our display is now going to tell us everything that's happening inside that cabinet. The screen is going to alternate between telling us year, month, date, time of day. It's also going to tell us how long it's been in the cycle and the elapsed time here, year, month, time of day and the elapsed time. The second screen is going to tell us what the cabinet air temperature is and what the food temperature is by reading out from that food probe. And when the cycle ends, it will automatically go into a holding cycle and this display will now say ready, telling us that our product is done and we can come take it out and start the unit all over again. Very simple, menu driven, flashing lights, Follow the bouncing ball and you'll get where you want to be. Now, if you notice I have some other lights that are flashing too, again, these are prompts that when the unit is on to allow us to do some things that are optional features. For example, we can initiate our heated probe. If we're in a shock-free cycle, we can initiate the heated probe so that, that probe can be safely removed from frozen product without damaging the product or the probe by initiating this particular button. I can initiate a manual defrost of the cabinet here, or I can initiate the ultraviolet germicidal radiation, the UV cycle, if you will, to sterilize the inside of the cabinet, or I can print out the data to the PC or to a unit mounted printer by initiating this button. So these are lights that will initiate our cycle, these are lights that initiate an option after that cycle is over.